My name is Shahid Mustafa. I'm the general manager of Mountain View Market Co-op in Las Cruces, New Mexico. Um, so I'm going to talk a little bit today about what, what we're doing down in Las Cruces at Mountain View and um, how I think those things are, are Im important in our community, why I think growth is important, and uh, what, how I think we as, as leaders need to be participating in this, this growth. We'll start with the farm. We, uh, what was it, maybe two years ago, two and a half years ago, started having a discussion about uh, food sovereignty in Las Cruces. There's something that we deal with down there with, which is called distance. And uh, it's a distance from the location, from the source. And our source is generally California. Uh, in terms of distribution, it's Denver, and now fortunately also uh, Albuquerque. Uh, but all those things are pretty far from where we are, and we always deal with the impact of that. And we started to ask the question at the board and GM level, having discussions about, you know, where's food coming from? What are we going to be doing? Uh, do we need to partner with local producers? So we were really trying to do that. We started uh, initially a uh, grower's market that happened outside of our co-op every Sunday. And we encourage local producers to come and sell at that market in the hopes of establishing a greater relationship with lo local producers. What we realized was that there just that weren't that many people who were producing locally and many of the people who were were at the stage where they were thinking about giving up the farm. So uh, we felt like we needed to, to develop those relationships in a different way. Uh, an opportunity presented itself, and we took over a two-acre farm in Messia. Uh, it looks lush. <laughs> 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 we grow a lot of weeds out there as well. Uh, those are pecan trees, which you see in the background. It's not our farm. It's a neighbor's farm, and that's mostly what people grow in Las Cruces, pecans, um, outside of chilies and cotton, all wonderful things to grow in the southwest where you have lots of water. Uh, these are some of our relative uh, residents at the farm. This is, I think, Ferdy, the pig. There's two pigs who often get out of where they're supposed to be, but they're really helpful with rooting. Uh, they take care of Bermuda grass for us. Um, one of the things that we've done on the farm recently is we've built two greenhouses and put into them aquaponic systems. Um, so we are sort of demonstrating different methods of producing and in an area where your water resources is uh, lacking. Um, one of the things that the farm does for us is it grows our opportunities to engage. We have uh, volunteer days twice a week and we have a pretty good uh, turnout of volunteers every volunteer day. One of the new things that we've been able to take advantage of is our relationship with uh, professors at NMSU who send students down as interns. And also we have, this is a, actually a fraternity group of 30 people who came down to help weed because they need to do community service. And it was a great opportunity for them and for us as well because we grow a lot of weeds. <laughs> uh, workshops is something else that we do at the farm. Um, it is another opportunity for engagement with the community. Uh, these are just two examples of the kind of workshops that we offer on a, on a pretty regular basis. Uh, those workshops have been really becoming more and more popular as people learn more about the farm, and I think that's a result of some of the engagement that we've been doing. Mountain View Market Kitchen. Uh, this is another thing that just kind of happened. Um, literally, we... Uh, I think we made this decision decision in three days. Um, it was downtown Las Cruces, which is going through a revitalization revitalization phase. So we decided, okay, well, let's see what can happen. Uh, we just happened to have a board meeting. I think the next day, <laughs> uh, which was on a Wednesday, had a discussion. Uh, by Friday, we owned a restaurant downtown, and by the following February, we were open for business. And this is what it looked like. Uh, we had a coming soon sign that, that as soon as we went up, everybody you know, was really excited about it. Uh, we were fortunate to create a menu. Um, we got some people to come down and people eat at this place. 
So it's a great, it's another thing that we've been able to do in terms of growth in the community at our level that's impactful. Uh, people appreciate it. The community, once again, is engaging with us. So we're having a greater opportunity to let people know what co-ops are about, and they can see it. Uh, this is our grand opening with the Las Cruces Green Chamber of Commerce. Um, this is our website. Uh, our website has a shopping cart and a list of our items in the store, so people are actually able to purchase from this website. We ship regionally. And initially, we thought we'd really grow this, this regional uh, uh, drive and operated machine to deliver to places like Truth of Consequences and Deming and El Paso and Cloudcroft, because that's all about within our 100-mile radius that we think we can serve. And, um, you know, it's been sort of a beta test. And what really surprised us is the amount of orders that we get from places like New York City and Virginia. And, you know, we deliver. You know, if they, they'll pay shipping, we'll send it to them. And it's really been, you know, for us, one of the things that's been really fun, um, it's really, you know, I think we've grown. <laughs> we started off thinking we'd have this thing up in a, you know, in a, in a matter of months. It would run on its own, and we'd hardly ever have to deal with it. And um, if you've worked with websites at all, you'll know that that's, that's a fantasy, and it's easy to fall into that trap. Um, but at this point, I think we have uh, two full-time employees working on the website, one part-time, and a continuous relationship with the developer. And we make changes all the time. But we're seeing that we continue to grow this opportunity, and I think this is the future. We serve those communities, and I think this is how we'll gauge whether or not we need to potentially expand into those communities, the amount of, of, of activity that's happening from those communities on this website. So why, do, why does growth matter? I think growth matters for a lot of reasons. The most obvious is if we don't grow, the, mar the market is growing, competition is growing, we need to have better leverage, we need to have better pricing, we need to be competitive. But I think the reason that growth really matters is it, it, it really provides an opportunity for more of what we do. Um, more cooperative economy, more opportunities. The more that we grow, the more that we can hire people who have the opportunity to grow and learn with us. Um, I think that the education that we provide and the level of participation as a business is unparalleled. I think the co-op sector is, and you know, quite frankly, a very revolutionary concept in that you take in people at the level that they are at and you help to develop them to get to where they need to be. And as we grow as a business, I think that's more of the community that gets to participate and enjoy the success of the model that we're trying to create. I think that as leaders, uh, we get our communities engaged, aligned, and participating by becoming more literate about what it is that we do. Some of the stuff that Marshall was talking about, some of what we heard, the message that we need to be portraying, we need to be ambassadors. We need to be able to talk to our, you know, if you look at the model of the multi-level marketing business, they're hugely successful, not because of, in my opinion, not because of the products. But the fact that they have this word of mouth um, enthusiasm about what they do, and it really gets people to buy in. And, and that's one of the things that I think we develop with greater literacy. I think we all believe in what we do, but we really need to be able to articulate what that is and communicate that to, you no, know, not necessarily the media, but to our friends. And at the age right now you know social media we're we're finding that to be the most quantifiable way to market anything good or bad but we need to take advantage of that and the way that we do it is becoming more literate and sharing our message with our members and our friends at every opportunity that we get and tying in the results the impact because that's where it really makes a difference and that's where i think people grow to support co-ops and um and i think that's it Thank you.